I gotta say one thing. This is the biggest BS I've ever seen. His lowest stats are confidence and charisma. I don't believe that for a second. Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Last time, we finished three sub stories with the put the a killer. What's this? Dojo current class? Yeah. Um. Talking to one guy at the random school and the kimchi quest. Today, we're going to hit a random side quest and see what's going to happen. Our guy's down here. And I hope this won't be terrible. I don't think it will be. The guy's sitting in a chair. Yeah, it's the correct game. Hey, Pops, you all right? <sighs> I'm just on a job, but my tendonitis is killing me these days. Each time I click this tally counter, <laughs> hey, now don't hurt yourself. Why don't you take a break if it's hurting that badly? Well, I hired some help, but they bailed on me last minute. Can't exactly take a break anymore. <laughs> That doesn't sound good. Want me to call you an ambulance? No, no, no. As long as I don't use the tally counter, I'm good. Besides, it's not like anyone's rushing out to do my job. The kids of today aren't interested in the modest life of a traffic census taker. What? Traffic sensor? The hell's that? What? You've never heard of a traffic census before? <laughs> never in my life. Bet it's complicated, though. Yeah? Oh, no. It's quite easy. My job simply entails counting the pedestrians and cars that pass by. Ah. Uh, so, uh, how do you count them? I sit along the edge of this road and count everything that comes through. What? What do you mean? For example, let's say I count cars. <laughs> hey, you okay? Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> more or less. Ugh. Whenever a car passes by, you click the counter like this. Got it? Sure. Something passes by, I click the thing. Right you are. You're a quick learner. Well, now that you know the rules, what do you say we give it a try? Hold up. I might have learned how it's done, but I never said anything about doing the job. No, 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 no! You really say that to a man whose crippling tendonitis is keeping him from the very... Does he have a mega? Please, my super perm friends. Oh, oh, the pain's getting worse by the click. Oh, and it pays pretty well for a job where you sit on your rump all day. <sighs> I mean, let's go ahead and do it. It can't right. be that bad. Guess it wouldn't hurt to try. Really? Oh, that'd be a big help. Oh, uh, by the way, what's your name? Ichiban Kasuga. Kasuga, hmm. A fine name. I'm Shirabe Michino. Been doing the traffic census job around these parts for 30 years now. 30 years? You're a real veteran, huh? <laughs> I suppose so. Yet nothing goes uncounted thanks to these guys. My peers call me the traffic sensor sensor. That makes you sound like a legend, Pops. <laughs> yeah, well, not where my hands are. Wait, if doing your job gives you tendonitis, wouldn't that mean there's a lot of physical labor involved? No, it's not a physically demanding job by any means. Traffic in these parts is quite hectic, you see? It takes a lightning fast clicker. And you seem a heck of a lot sturdier than me, Kasuga Kun. So it's nothing you need to worry about. Okay. So all I gotta do is keep that counter clicking. Yes, indeed. The clicking of the counter paves the way for road plans, construction projects, the very future as we know it. So that's why I'd always see guys sitting on their asses clicking these things. Exactly. They were counting all different types of cars and people. 
Businesses and organizations use this data to advance city development. Huh. Learn something every day. Well, I'd very much like to start practicing, but are you ready? Yeah. Lay it on me. <laughs> Good answer. Then consider your training officially begun. Why don't we first start off by counting how many men pass by within 15 seconds? What? Of men passing by. All right, cool. Okay. Is this a mini game? One, two, three. Four. That was the fastest 15 seconds ever. There's four men. Yeah. <laughs> it was nothing. Well, I need to go for stage. And confidence points? Hmm. <coughs> Gosh, this cough is annoying. How do I, how do I, how do I, yeah. I mean, I could use the money, but I needed money to go across the street to my abyss and make a quick million. Wait, we just keep going? Are you freaking kidding me? Alright, let's help out yeah. again. Arigato. Do, oh, freak women? I think that's what it said. Mm. One. I can actually move around. That's cool, I didn't realize that. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. I got it. Again, that's very fast timing. <laughs> oh, I like the confidence <laughs> stat boost. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm over talking with you. This is the dumbest side quest I think yet. There's another round of this. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Arigato. Round three. Mm. Oh freak! What do I have to look for? Mm. Man, woman, man. Robot? Woman, woman. Two, three, 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 four, three. The. Uh, you got it. We do. I got distracted by the robot! I wanna say it was like five and six? Five men and six women? Okay. Thank you, That's perfect. This road's busy as hell. My fingers are killing me. Yeah. It's seen all sorts of people since it was first opened way back when. Counting may be a handful, but I think it's actually quite interesting, don't you? <laughs> Frankly, I absolutely love the work we do. I never really thought about it before, but this city's actually pretty neat. I have to admit, I'm surprised at how fast you picked this up, Kaskaku. Hey, what better teacher than the traffic census sensei himself? <laughs> ah, you flatter me. <laughs> that said, I know a good pupil when I see one. I can retire in peace knowing you're around, Kasuga Kuhn. What are you talking about, Pops? Not running on fumes just yet, are you? Well, to tell you the truth, it turns out the tendonitis afflicting this old arm of mine is worse than I feared. Huh? What do you mean? It's not just pain and swelling, but numbness as well. Our doctors told me to stop using the tally type. No way. Oh, it's no cause for concern. If anything, it's inspired me to pass on this job to the coming generation. Kasuga Kuhn, what do you think of the traffic census now that you've tried it for yourself? Huh? Well, it's pretty tough for how modest the work is. I got kind of frustrated here and there. <laughs> I thought as much. Yes, it is modest work. <laughs> but still. Each day I click away at that counter and watch as the scenery changes bit by bit. <laughs> Truly warms my heart. I want nothing more than to share that passion and joy with those next in line. Guess I'm first in that line, huh? <laughs> it would seem so. <laughs> I'm truly grateful that you came to help me in my time of need, Kasuga-kun. 
Really, I should be thanking you for letting me try it out. Though, next in line sounds like a pretty big responsibility. Oh, that reminds me. Here, Kasuga Kun. I'm battered. Ah! I've held on to that for some time now, in hopes that I might one day pass it on to a worthy successor. A worthy successor? Mind you, it's nothing fancy. Just a little something to commemorate you, Kasuga Kun, as my very first pupil. Oh, sure. In that case, thank you. There will come a time when I can no longer look after Japan's aspiring census takers. And the task will inevitably fall to you. Uh -huh. Oh, I just remember something I have to do. Uh -huh. Hey, wait a sec, Pops. I didn't sign up for that. What's that? D did you say something? I gotta run. Bye. How did the snapping of the fingers not hurt him? He's gone. Damn it! What the hell was that? So that's a traffic census. A lot more to it than I thought. Guess it takes all sorts of jobs to keep a city going. The freak happened. What am I gonna do with that? All right. I want to do one more sub story for tonight. So one, let me know. All right. So we're going back to the survive bar. And we want to talk to our friend over here. Kasuga-san. Guess what? I finally got those details on that rumor. What rumor? What rumor? Thank you. You know, the one I mentioned earlier? Trust me. You're gonna want to hear this. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> if it's juicy, let's hear it. So, I heard this from a customer. But apparently there's a small shipping company called Zhou Long Trading over on Ijin Street. And if you tell the guy working there a certain password, he'll let you into the top secret weapon shop. This shop's not legal, is it? Whispers of the Underworld! Doubt it. According to the rumors, he's pretty much cornered the black market. So, if you need anything dangerous and illegal, he's your go-to guy. Uh-huh. Sounds intense. I know, right? I bet he's got the coolest stuff. What do you think this guy looks like? Do you think he's one of those sexy anti-hero types? <sighs> if only I could meet a guy like that. Do you think he'd want to say hi to me? N no, that's probably not a good idea. Something tells me he's more villain than anti-hero. Nah, if you say so. Anyway, do you have any idea what his password might be? Oh, let me think. It was... Lao Chow Chow Ya. There we go. Love Choo Choo Ya? Wrong. Lao Chow Chow Ya. I'm clueless as to what it means, if anything at all. Lao Chow Chow Ya. Can I just say it to the dude who works there? Well, do keep in mind this is all hearsay, but where there's smoke, there's fire. So some of it might be true. And besides, even if he does turn out to be a villain, you're strong enough to make it out alive. Fair. I appreciate the vote of confidence. I guess it wouldn't hurt to check it out. Thanks for the tip. Now, if he really is my type, nice body, a little on the wild side, hook me up with a date. Hey, <laughs> we're just gonna ignore everything she just said, cause I like that boy. All right, so I'm not doing what's your sign right now. We know where the weapon shop is. It is. Here. Do you remember that store that I tried to enter like 12 times and I couldn't figure out why I couldn't? This is why. And it's kind of for a street. Stop doing things right now. Welcome. I'm supposed to say the, uh, say the password. It is. Wow, cha cha ya? Love you, love you, booya. Oh, these are all. Wow, chow, chow, ya. Where did you hear that from? Uh, I was referred here, kinda. Very well. Then wait right here. All right. Can't be that hard, right? Yeah. Uh, can I help you guys? 
you can help us prove your worth to Chao San by facing us in combat. No offense, but protocols are protocols. I knew this shit would happen. This can't be that bad. Let's see what you're made of. Good, cause I don't know what I'm made of. Uh, you know what? Because we, it doesn't matter with using RMP. All right, finish him off. I can't believe Zal's so far behind. I do need to probably get Zal up a little bit. Probably won't be a bad idea to get his weapon upgraded. <sighs> You're quite skilled. Exceptional. You pass. You're the one who runs this secret weapon shop? Meet me near Kinka Bridge, along the river's edge, and I will give you your answer. Okay. Sorry we had to do that, sir. But we do have to screen our clients somehow. Yeah, I get it. I mean, this is the black market I'm dealing with, so I figured I might get the runaround. <laughs> I assure you, it's worth the effort. Alright. Can it really be that bad? Where do I have to go? I have to go... Oh, yeah. Cat. Oh, you know what? This place looks like something out of one of those kung fu movies I watched as a kid. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I love kung fu movies. They come up with the craziest martial arts moves. I've always liked skate style. Oh, that stance is so cool. Nah, nah, nah. Gotta be Shaolin kung fu for me. You know any martial arts, Yao? I know a little drunken fist. Yo, that's where you fight drunk, right? You gotta show us. Sure. But I'm gonna need you to buy me some veal first. And some snacks, too. A little cheese and edamame sounds very nice. Hey, you just tried to get free food and drinks. You have to ask. Uh, I mean, yeah. And honestly, with that, with that, everybody being max level, I think next episode we're gonna do some bonding. Cause I know I have to get. I want to get some of their levels maxed out, especially since these three are the lowest levels on my team, which is hilarious to me. Cause I don't even use a dodgy. I thought I told you, when we got a fifth character, I was going to get rid of a dodgy in a heartbeat. And did I fail in that method? No. Dodgy's a really good tank. That's all he's good for right now. I have a feeling when it comes to end game, though, everybody's going to be kind of beast after we figure some stuff out. But. Whee! You got some weapons for me. You say that with such confidence. Tell me, what family are you from? Surely, you're not some civilian. I'm with Arakawa, the Arakawa family of the Tojo clan. If, well, I was. The Tojo clan. Interesting. Just like Kazuma and Kiryu. What? You got some buddies over there? Hardly. Those people I avoid. It's best they don't know my face. Okay. It, now listen, why'd your men attack me? I was just trying to give out a password. I was determining your level of trust. Those who cannot handle secrets spill them. A fatal move in our line of work. Which is to say, only a fool would arm a weak man. That is why we tested you. To determine the character behind your strength. So that's what that was. Yes, and you have proven your worth. Our doors are open to you from now on. You mean it? Only under the condition you tell no one. Like I said, this is a trust-based business. Do anything to blow our cover, I'll strike you down. Hey, you can relax. I know I look laid back, but I'm no snitch. Yo, and I'm Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. And you are? Chao. Chao Kalao. Well then, Shao San, let's do some business. They're here. 
Well, the first thing you gotta do is literally buy anything. So, we're gonna buy the Sacred Branch because it's the cheapest. I'm not gonna use it. Appreciate the business. We're gonna walk away, get him off screen for a second after we buy in it. They're here. Freak. Uh, let me business. go through here first. I don't. <clears throat> Not doing. There we go. Hey. Yo, Chow Sun, miss me? You again. It could you deter surviving your approach with the underworld. You must be a competent hmm? man. Something like that. Yeah. You should know most people avoid mid all costs, whether Yakuza or your boy will live in the darkness, perhaps in the present sense. Well, you know what? You're about to kill someone at any given moment. Doesn't bother me, Robins, we're worth the risk. Appreciate your honesty. If you would perish, it'd be bad for business. I suggest you contact me if you're out some danger or come to your aid now for your support. Okay. Oh, you're a pound mate? <laughs> well, that was very easy. He's a pound mate. So I think with that one, we're going to call it a night. We are at 39 out of 52. We need to do 14. I'm going to love the fact that we have to do 14 still. 14, 23. 32. And then these are all freaking Dragon Cart, which we will do a series of episodes on that. So next time on is that we're going to try to do 14, 23, and maybe 32. Or actually, no, we're going to do story. We're going to do companionship stuff, and we'll go from there. I'll see you then.